Washington. Democratic Congresswoman Judy Chu joins me now. Congresswoman Chu represents California's 28th district, including Monterey Park, and was the city's former mayor and a council member as well. You know this community so well. Congresswoman, first of all, talk to me about the community reaction to this tragedy. Well, it's been a terrifying 24 hours. We all woke up to learn that a shooter had killed 10 people with a gun and that 10 more were in the hospital. But what was even more terrifying to people in this community is that the shooter was loose, uh, that uh, law enforcement was still looking for him. So they were terrified about um, uh, attending other events uh, with the plethora of Lunar New Year events going on. They didn't know if they should do that, but even more fundamentally, they didn't know if they even should send their kids to school. So it was great, with great relief that at 5 p.m., Sheriff Luna announced that the the suspect had been captured um, and that he had shot himself uh, while he was in his van. So a sigh of relief for everybody. But, you know, happening on the Lunar New Year, which is the most important celebration annually with the AAPI community, is so, so awful, obviously awful. And, and tragic. Um, some indications, uh, you've been talking to law enforcement, that he had frequented that dance hall? Yes, uh, the news reports actually are the ones that have uh, uncovered the fact that he fancied himself to be a dance instructor. He would offer free lessons. He frequented these two dance studios. He met his wife there, uh, but she said he was quick to be angry and hostile if she missed her dance steps. So he divorced her in 2005. Um, so uh, there is some uh, rumor that uh, he went to these two studios that night in order to find her. So um, obviously he did not, but he had his anger and hostility uh, at, at a full level. And the fact that the gun, as far as we know, the gun is illegal because it had the extender, um, you know, the larger magazine. What do you take back with you? I know there was at least a breakthrough on some gun measures in the last Congress, but it's been so difficult to get meaningful, meaningful background checks, meaningful extensions of, of what many people would consider gun reform. What are you taking back in terms of what you could do in Washington, Congresswoman? Well, first of all, what is top on my list of questions to be answered with regard to the shooting is how he got this gun. Uh, right. Actually, there were two guns. And uh, what we know about that second gun that was wrestled away from him was that it did have an illegal extender on it. But we still have questions about the first gun. How did he obtain that? Did he evade the background checks uh, if it was legal? And that brings me to the kind of legislation that we have been trying to pass in Congress, common sense legislation that would close the loopholes on the universal background checks. Uh, it's uh, The universal background checks are very effective in making sure that these guns don't go into the hands of people who are violent and who are criminals. Um, but people evade them by buying guns at uh, gun shows uh, on the Internet or through private sales. We have to close those loopholes. And have you spoken with the two community members who were heroic, who disarmed the suspect at the second location, the Alhambra? Well, it turns out it was one young man mm. who was 26 years old and happened to be standing there when the man came in and saw that he had a gun. So he wrestled him, got into a fight and was able to get that gun away from him, pointed it at the shooter and told him to get out of there. I tell you, that guy is such a hero in my eyes because had he not done that, we would have seen more people dead. So I have not been able to talk to him yet, but that is high on my agenda. And he should be honored as a hero by everybody here. No, absolutely. Uh, Congresswoman, I know this is a terrible time for you and, and so difficult. So thank you for sharing your, your experiences with us.